Good morning and Merry Christmas from Funland and in Hayden Island. And of course, we had to come back here to have a look at what's going on as we want to do kind of monthly updates for you. So we were back here at the end of November. We saw that this had been packed up. Uh, the Dragon Coaster, the Fun Funlandosaurus, Funlandosaurus had been packed up and it was ready to roll. Um, it had been banded, so we knew it was definitely going out of here. And it's gone. It's absolutely gone. And we also showed you over the other side that the cauldrons were going as well. And it looks like from where we parked the car that they're also gone. So we have a nice big space. Now, both the new rides which uh, were announced by the park uh, are actually here. We have seen them. We have seen the Viking boats, which we're going to go up and show you. And we've also seen the Dumbos, which come from Lisburg. Um, so, yeah, you know, these are quite, quite big rides for them. Uh, whether or not there's going to be anything else, I don't know. It's quite a big space here. Still like to see another coaster. Another thrill ride, something good. Oh, we're going to avoid... Them, yeah. It's still massive space up there. Yeah, we're going to avoid this middle bit because um, Winter Wonderland is on. So these rides are open. Uh, I believe this is open as far as no one on this. The balloons are open, the carousel's open, the little train's open. There's loads of families over there enjoying themselves. So we're gonna head down the bottom now and we are gonna show you what we can see, which is quite a bit actually. There's quite a bit of work going on down there. So of course the cyclone is still undergoing winter maintenance and we can actually get a bit closer now. So we'll take you around there and show you around there. But we can actually get a bit closer than what we could uh, last time. This was all buried off. I don't know whether or not the Caterpillar is actually open for Winter Wonderland. It might be because it's wet, um, as we established yep. during uh, fireworks, is that they can't open it because of the platform when it's wet. So it's a good chance that's been open, um, which is the reason why the barrier has been taken back a bit. Uh, but it is, has been raining. I mean, the weather at the moment is atrocious going into Christmas. Here's the old extreme. Got some nice lights here, look. So down the back there, you may be able to see just sort of here, the Dumbo cars. So they are really tucked away. Really, really tucked away down there, but we could see them. In fact, Kurt spotted them first. Yep, you didn't see them. I didn't and see the them. Boats, and he spotted the Viking boats. Yeah, but I'd see them. Uh, but yeah, you can sort of see them through here as well. So yeah, just sort of here. They look nice, don't they? They look nice, don't they? Some do look nice. Nice and And then we've got loads going on. And we can get a little bit closer. Look, this is what we like, look. So of course the cauldrons which were here, it's the first time we've been able to get close enough to see where this space has gone. This is completely gone. We've got some motors being worked on, we've got the central, and then yeah, you can just see through the through the hole here that the Dumbos have indeed arrived. And you'll see over there, when we go over there in a second as well, right across there, that the Viking boats are also here. So both new rides which have been announced are at the park. They are here, they are ready for installation. I know they were, um, uh, you know, I know they're gonna be massive rides and I think they're gonna be, I think they're gonna be out. I think they want them out for February, which would be great if they are. But we'll take you around the other side now and we'll have a look around there. <laughs> So as we come around to the car park side here, these are going to be the troughs I would imagine for the Viking boats because they do still go around a little bit of water and you can see sort of the drainage and the water system here. You know, the thing that this has been at one of the biggest theme parks in Europe is staggering really. Absolutely staggering. Needs a bit of a clean to be honest. Needs a bit of a clean. You can see that and they all number them so we know which one joins to which. Get them nice and close. But yeah, it does need a bit of a clean. Hope they pick them up cheap. And the first thing we spotted wasn't actually the boats, which we'll show in a minute, is the flag. So you'll have seen these from um, just over here and some of the other scenery as well. But you'll recognise those quite heavily, probably more from the um, Portland Park one rather than the Chesington one. And then, yeah, here's the rest of the bits and pieces here. We've got the Viking boats just here. And from here, you can actually just see next to the Red Pearl, you can see the front of the Dumbo. So yeah, a lot of work going on. It's great to see the new rides are here. And we're just trying to establish now, Kurt and I are arguing between us exactly where they're gonna go. Um, because we're not really sure where they're gonna go. We've obviously got this space here, which would probably be quite nice for the um, for the Viking boats. But at the same time, yeah, down the bottom, sort of... there's loads of room, isn't there? There's loads of room down the bottom. They could potentially put both down there. I really think they should be looking for a third edition. Um, for next year, to be honest with you, a third edition. Yeah, something a little bit bigger. I mean, I remember this is the top of the Dumbos. This is part of the Dumbos ride. I remember seeing the picture yeah. um, from Lisburg about well, when we really saw nice it. Not scratch on the cars. 
Yeah, these are yeah, these are stunning condition. These do. Well, the troughs look a bit bit ropey. They look in great condition. Flags look really good over there as well. Now I know people said obviously that they'd like to see some thrill rides here, but I think they forget. You know, they do have um, the the um, Neptune Fury, which is a, a lovely little spinning ride. Uh, it's not as good as a waltzer, but it still does a good job. I still think this is a cracking roller coaster. I actually love this roller coaster. Love it. They got an extreme ride. They've got a. Um, a sizzler as well, everyone likes a good sizzler, nothing wrong with that one. And then you've got some backup rides with the balloons, you know, the kids still love going on the balloons and spinning out of those. And of course you have a custom lob balloon, which you just don't get at seaside parks. So there is quite a lot here for the teenage market. And maybe, maybe, you know, when they're running winter events like this, uh, having the children's rides is, is a much better option, which is another reason as well why it might be good if these two were down the bottom and something else went here. Hmm because it will all be in the same place you know I understand why they don't open the slide at winter because since it rains it's absolute car crash to be honest with you and but you know to okay. see a nice new thrill ride here or some kind of you know family thrill ride here and then the other two go down the bottom that'd be what I would do but of course not my decision I don't own the park but it's great to see it's great to see the investment is here you know the dragon coaster I stopped going on that a couple of years ago as a general rule because it really hurts my knees so I'm happy that's gone I did love the cauldrons I really really did love the cauldrons a lot of love for them they were they were such great teacups for us to go to Lego Land more now won't we for spinning spider but it is great to see them investing in the park still with some quality attractions and some quality attractions that people will recognize as well we'll have a quick look around by the side of the extreme down the back of there again and yeah what do you think leave your comments below what do you think funland 2020 new rides attractions on their way so yeah here's down the back here we've got a massive puddle it's been raining you can kind of see there's a lot of work going on through there and of course here's the extreme you get really close to the extreme probably a bit too close here's the extreme the miami <laughs> of course the other thing is as well you know if they wanted to make this if this is the bit that's closed during the winter period and the park you know there's loads of people over here this is a bit closed during the winter period why not move the sizzler over there i don't know whether or not it would fit and have another family attraction here because i don't um i'm a bit surprised this one isn't open actually this little one here I can, you know, the winter event is really popular, really, really highly rated. We said in the last video, if you haven't come down for it, you should really make sure you get down for it if you've got youngsters because it's, everyone loves it. It's so highly reviewed, it's so highly rated. You know, we did it many, many years ago and it was absolutely fantastic. So, you know, to have more rides open is great. It's great to see rides open at any of these parks this time of year. You know, the theme parks are getting a slightly better at it. You know, Clarence Piers completely locked up for Christmas. There's nothing going on down there. There's nothing in sight. That's a bit disappointing. But you can come down to Funland and you can get on some of your favorite rides. But yeah, move the Sizzler over here. Not sure if it'll fit, but move the Sizzler over there. Maybe another family ride instead. I think there's options i think there's options for the park but let us know as we said let us know below in the comments what do you think what do you think of fun lab what do you think of the changes they're making for 2020 we're actually quite excited initially we were really uh, quite upset about some of the rides we were leaving but kind of understand why they're going and um you know i think when you look at it for a seaside resort place there's probably more thrill rides here than there is for anything else and i think the balloons and this caterpillar fall nicely under the family market family thrill market because you can get some good rides out of those so maybe actually it is the juvenile rides they need more of but that's what's happening let us know below what do you think it's been uk theme parks have a merry merry christmas and uh, we'll see you next year